It should be Halloween, but I'm going to go ahead and do Christmas because this is a fun thing that coming up you could do. So my tin is obviously for like uh, chocolate, hot chocolates. There's another one like for actual candy chocolates. But any of these I keep when I get gifts or, or things in them. And I like tins. So, and I'm not going to cover up the front because I really like it. So I'm just going to add things to it and create and little persona. So, as you can see, I've already started and I've got my little um, feet on, uh, which ends up being corks. Um, so the thing you'll need is a tin of your liking and whatever kinds of collections you have um, that you wanna add things to, uh, uh, use from at home. I was trying to think of some other things for a head. You can see this is what I'm going to use for a head. It's one of those little plastic eggs. I thought also, and I couldn't find my version of this, those clear ornaments would make a really cute head for one of these. So that's another alternative to this. So while I'm doing these things today, just think of the things that you have at your house that you can add to and create your little uh, robot persona. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I don't think, since it's the point, I guess I could do the pointy head up. That's that's probably better, because I actually, these are the little dish drain kinds of things, or tea, um, I don't know, what do you call it? It's tea sieves. I'm gonna use that as a little hat for it. All right. So I'm gonna prepare my head, because he, I don't want it to just roll around. I'm gonna find like a little uh, red one. And I want it to kind of sit down in and have a little, I'm gonna do his head like that. So you're gonna need a hot glue gun. So parents, you might need to help. And I'm just gonna get it to sit right down in there. That way when I put it on, he's like, you know, kind of has a little attitude. So, then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my little hat. And so, I'm going to do kind of more static. I have a collection of just little key finding things. I just, I like them. So I'm going to do it to the side and maybe, you know, let me see what I think of this. I might need longer ones. of mine um, we uh, went on a big trip together and we had so much fun and I came back and made her one of some of the trinkets that we had um, just memorabilia from where we went we actually 
went to France together. And so it was just a fun way to tell her how much I enjoyed hanging out with her. And so I'm not going to finish him. So just want you to take a look at some of the things you can use. Corks. Actually, I've used nuts and bolts, if you have any of those laying around. Um, I didn't get into that today because I didn't want to punch holes in the tin. That also would take adult help. But those are fun because then you have movable lens um, if you punch holes in the tin and create your little persona. So just find the things around your house, things that no one's using anymore or they're done with, and put together a really cool robot persona. And here's the cool part about it. Still a can, so you when you give it to somebody or you you can put your things in there. Once it's empty, it's it becomes like a keepsake tin. But he also becomes a little robot that can sit on a shelf. Alright guys, so there you go. That's my last keepsake um, project that I have for you. I hope you've enjoyed this week and I hope you've enjoyed your break. Alright guys, see you at the library.